Hello everyone. Today, I will be discussing a simple strategy for solving a synthesis problem involving an alkyne. Following question asks us to propose a reasonable synthesis for transforming the starting material to the product. Let's apply retrosynthesis to solving this particular problem. The first thing to do in solving this synthesis problem is to compare the starting material and the product. If you number the substituents on the benzene ring in the starting material and the product, you will notice that there is three extra carbons on the substituent in the product. For example, if we number this as one, two, three, four, and we come to the product and also number this, we know that this part is the same as the starting material, and this will be the extra carbon that is attached. A good question to ask will be, how can we disconnect the product into two or more simpler components such that one of the components will be similar or even the same as the starting material? If I disconnect this product at this point, we will have two components. This component will be this and this. If I number this component, this will be similar to our starting material, and this will be the extra carbon, the extra carbon atoms. However, I also know that one way to attach a carbon-carbon bond will be to react an alkyl halide with a deprotonated alkyne via SN2 mechanism. So I have to then convert one of my components to an alkyl halide, and I'll have to convert the other one to a deprotonated alkyne. So let's attach bromine to this carbon, and we'll make this one into our alkyl halide. Then for this other one, we can make it into our alkyne. So here we have the deprotonated alkyne. We know that if these two were to react together, they could react via an SN2 mechanism, and carbon 4 and 5 will be attached together. So this would be 5, 6, 7. Having done this, we can now begin our synthesis problem. I'll react my, my alkyl halide. I'll react the alkyl halide with the deprotonated alkyne. Let's number this as one, two, three, four. And here we have five, six, seven. Via SN2, the product we'll have will be where carbon four is going to form a bond with carbon five. Carbon five is triply bonded to carbon six, and carbon six is joined to this methyl group. So numbering this will be five, six, seven. It's a good practice to number your carbon atoms. If we subject this to hydrogenation, let's react this with hydrogen and say, nickel catalyst or palladium or platinum catalyst. The triple bond will be converted to alkane. One, two, three, four. Carbon four is joined to five, five to six, six to seven. And this is similar to, this is the same thing as the product we have here. So the next question to then ask herself will be, how can we make this alkyl halide considering the starting material we have? 
So I'm going to bring down the starting material here. A good question to ask would be, what reagents can we add across this double bond that will attach bromine to this less substituted carbon and hydrogen to this more substituted carbon? The reagent to make that happen will be hydrogen bromide, alkyl peroxide, and lights. So this is going to add bromine and hydrogen via anti-macrobinic of addition such that bromine will be attached at this less substituted carbon. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the solution to our synthesis problem.